Hey guys, welcome to this uh, new tutorial. My name is Patrick from LearnPhotoEditing.net. Today we will uh, create uh, this image uh, and the original image is actually this one. So as you can see we will bring out the, the colors, the details and try to make it suitable for perhaps a, a beer ad or something. So let's start with the original photo. This one is uh, 1600 pixel wide. What you want to do first, first of all, I'm just going to zoom it out, zoom it out make it a little, a little smaller. And then I'm just going to uh, first of all, I just want to duplicate the image as we will need this one a little bit later. And um, going back to the uh, my first image, I'm going to add a HDR toning to it. So image adjustments, HDR toning. And here I'm going to start to bring out some of the some of the details. So here it's a matter of playing with the uh, the settings, get the get the the result you you like. E R the result, the results I liked. Uh, so 50, uh, 0 0.5. I'm going to. Gamma 0.8 exposure. I'm going to uh, reduce it a li little bit. Point uh, minus 0.3 details. I'm going to crank that up to 150 percent. Then I'm going to reduce the shadows. Whoops. Okay, so 50 minus 53 percent highlights. I'm going to put increase this uh, to five percent, and then I'm going to decrease the vibrance to 10, and I'm going to slightly decrease the saturation to 10 also, and uh, then I'm going to put add three points on the on the curve and uh, third point I'm, I'm going to put whoops 82 whoops 85 82 middle point I'm going to put 52 51 first point I'm going to put 26 and then I'm going to put 20 and I'm going to hit OK. So now that we have brought out some of the details, I'm just going to go back to our original photo, select all, copy, bring it back, paste, and I'm just going to uh, change the uh, blending mode to color. So just bring back some of the uh, the colors from the original photo. Then I'm going to add a color balance adjustment layer. Oops. New adjustment layer, color balance, okay. And I'm just going to Enter the uh, the values that I already have. Again, it's a matter of playing with the sliders. Get the result you like. Minus twenty. Whoops. Minus twelve. Shadows. Minus nine. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Whoa. 22 highlights minus 5 minus 5 
and minus 8. So that's the change. Then we will uh, add a selective color adjustment layer. And this time I'm just going to focus on the neutrals, the, the which is which are the mid-tones, and the black, which are the, the shadows. Um, minus 19, whoops, actually it's plus 1, minus 8, minus 10, minus 6, blacks, 8, 6, 13, 13, and I'm going to reduce the, the opacity to 50, reduce the effect a little, and then, whoops, I'm just going to And I'm going to uh, actually what I can do now. I'm I I'm just going to flatten the image, and I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to change the blending mode to uh, soft light, and I'm going to decrease the opacity to 20. So as you can see, we add a bit of contrast. Uh, then I'm going to flatten the image and I'm going to go with another round of HDR toning. Okay, so this time I'm going to put 18. Uh, 0.3. I'm going to leave the gamma to 1. I'm going to uh, reduce the exposure to 75. The details, I'm going to crank this up to 50. Shadows, I'm going to reduce this to minus 25. Highlights, 20. Vibrance, minus 15. And saturation. I'm going to reduce this a little. Then I'm going to again add three points to the curve. Last point will be 83, 81, middle one, 56, 48, first point, 25, 21. And then you press OK. And so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this one. Uh, the background layer, I'm going to uh, choose the saturate. And this one, I'm going to choose uh, luminosity. And I'm going to lower the opacity to 50. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to the original photo, select, copy. I'm going to bring it over. going to reduce the opacity to 70 and I'm going to add a uh, layer mask and I'm going to take out I'm going to um, erase the effect on the people so I'm going to paint those three uh, on the layer mask I'm going to paint them black so get yourself a paintbrush 
and uh, maybe 50 and I'm going to maybe 30 and let's just put 100 now so we uh, we know where we can clearly see the difference between uh, the desaturated picture and the uh, colored picture So what we are doing now is we're painting the mask black which will uh, erase uh, the area, erase uh, or, or take, uh, take away the, uh, the colors from the people. Okay, so we are pretty much done. I'm just going to, again, decrease the opacity to 70. Now I'm going to create a, a use saturation adjustment layer. Oops, I'm just going to, first of all, control click. If you have an uh, Apple computer, uh, command click uh, the layer mask. Uh, since we I want to keep that layer mask for, for this uh, new adjustment layer you saturation so you see we get the same uh, layer mask and I'm just going to uh, adjust the colors of the background I'm going to put minus 3 minus 10 minus 15 Oops. First of all, I'm just going to adjust the mask and well, never mind that. Okay, so then let's do a bit of uh, dodge and dodge and burn. Uh, I am going to add a new layer, then choose overlay take the 50% uh, uh, gray box hit OK and this one we're going to call it dodge and we're going to select the uh, dodge tool I'm going to put exposure 20 mid-tones and I'm going to start by increasing the highlights on the, the teeth Oops. let's increase I'm going to five, maybe five. It's going to increase the highlights on the the eyes, the white area. Then I'm going to create another dodge layer. This one, uh, actually, you could do it on the same uh, layer, but I'm going to create a new one, dodge two. 